Yes, I'm wearing shorts. I'm not naked. And my shirt is really freaking cool. I got it here. Not spots. Hey, hi, hello. My name is Bobby, and this is a video about my wall that's back there because I get a lot of questions on it. If you're new here, hey, what's up? How's it hanging? And if you're coming back, yes, I did cut my hair. <laughs> a lot of you probably know about my last hair video, so if you guys want a new one with actual short hair, um, please comment down below and let me know because I have some pretty cool ideas. You guys always ask for a room tour, which I would love to do, but um, my room is a mess, like uh, a mess. <laughs> But in a lot of my videos, you guys see that that wall is my background and you ask if I used a kit or how I did it. So I decided that a good video to make would be explaining it. Now I know that a lot of girls have collages on their walls, but for the most part, I think people get them from kits. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I, I should get one of those. And then I realized that they're expensive and I was like, whoa. I have no money, <laughs> so I improvised. So to answer that first question, no, my collage is not made from a kit. Kits are absolutely, totally cool, and if you like that, go for it. I think they're really cute, but it was kind of hard to find one that went with my room and my style, so I sort of found that putting together images and little thingies that I, I collect actually worked a lot better. So if you want to make it a little bit more individual, this is definitely a great option for you and it's definitely not as expensive as buying one of those aesthetic kits. If this is something that you want to do for your room, I definitely suggest starting a box of things that you collect. I have this big old thing that's filled with like random wrappers and polaroids and just i don't even know <laughs> some of my favorite things to save are like concert wristbands and patches and notes from your friends because those are really great things to keep also i know a lot of people wouldn't think of this but a lot of companies send really cute packaging and just little things that you could put like this little forward thingy came from a pair of socks that i'm actually wearing also old books make for great full sheet pages and I have a ton of things like stamps from my dad from the 80s because he saved all of his little things and a lot of the stuff that's already up there is from his childhood. So if you're into that vintage vibe, maybe ask your parents if they have some like saved stuff or you could definitely go thrift shopping or check at flea markets because I don't know if you can see back there, I have some vintage ads which actually look really cool. Now if you're not like me and you're not a complete hoarder to the point where it's a little bit concerning. One of my favorite places to find cool things to put on my wall are actually magazines. I personally use fashion magazines like Elle and Bazaar because they have really cool aesthetic ads, but I think pretty soon I'm going to be ordering like photography based ones. So if you know any good photography magazines or like art magazines, let me know and I definitely want to check them out because I feel like that'd be a really cool place to get images from. It's raining. Okay, cool. So what I do with the magazines is I basically flip through them. Sometimes you can find full pages and other times you only find little things, but every magazine is different. Because a lot of advertisements are trying to get you to look at them, they typically are eye catching Oh, my camera died. As I was saying, it's gonna take some time, but in my opinion, it's really worth it because it looks freaking cool in the end. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Ah. I know that this is sort of like a self-explanatory kind of project. I mean, like, you cut out pictures, yeah, you put them on your wall, you know? <laughs> not too complicated but i figured it would be kind of fun to do like a, a decorate with me maybe a couple things that i like doing with pictures is cutting them up and separating them and putting them on different spots on the wall so it looks kind of like they're separate but it still ties in together and just like cropping things weird just interesting angles different shapes different sizes now when i put stuff up on my wall i use double-sided tape or just like regular scotch tape folded over i'm gonna kick it into time lapse mode now so you can kind of see the process of it so i will see See you after. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>
guys that I think you're really cool. Thank you. Hopefully this video helped. I know that a couple of you wanted to know how I did this. If you guys want more stuff like this, please let me know and just give me video ideas because now I'm back to filming and I missed it and I want to make a million videos. So seriously, whatever you want, comment down below and I'll see if I can try it. This hurts my arm. <laughs> also, my song, Nothing Too, that you guys liked a lot, thank you by the way, is coming to music stores and by the time you see this, it might actually be out. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link to my Spotify and iTunes in the description and you can go check out my music. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and all that, these are my socials. I'm a lot more active on there. If you want to help me out and like this video and subscribe, that'd be pretty cool. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I hope you have a lovely night or day or weekend or whatever time it is when you're watching this. I love you all so much and goodbye.